learning more about those who lost their lives early Sunday morning. It happened in a shooting here at Climax Lounge nightclub at 43rd in Indiana in Kansas City, Missouri. Among those killed was 24 year old Antoinette Brinson. She leaves behind three kids. 41 year old Jason McConnell and 33 year old Clarence Henderson were also killed in that shooting. Two others were hurt in the gunfire heard throughout the neighborhood. Until we start stop caring who and what people think about us, you know, that's the biggest thing. You know, oh man, I can't say nothing, that ain't cool. Yeah, yeah, it ain't cool you having to bury your son. Twenty-four-year-old Antoinette Brinson, affectionately known as Libby to family and friends, was a fun and outgoing woman who loved to smile. She was described as a warm and loving person who always brought great energy wherever she went. Most importantly, she was a mother to three beautiful children. Being a mother meant everything to her, and she always made sure her children wanted for nothing. Antoinette recently moved to the Kansas City area and was looking forward to a night out in support of a friend who will be performing that night. No one could have ever imagined that what was supposed to be a simple night out would turn tragic. Just before 1.30 a.m. on May 21st, Kansas City police responded to the Climax nightclub at 4244 Indiana Avenue in the middle of Kansas City's South Oak Park neighborhood for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would find five individuals suffering from gunshot wounds. A couple of them at first, and then I hear return fire. The police investigation into that shooting continues tonight as officers search for the gunman. They were called to the club around 125 Sunday morning. They found victims both inside and outside the business. And now the community left to mourn after another violent incident. 65 people have been killed so far in Kansas City, Missouri this year. The victims were identified as 41-year-old Jason McConnell, who worked at the club as a bouncer. 33-year-old Clarence Henderson, who was a local rapper and scheduled to perform that night. And lastly, 24-year-old Antoinette Brinson, who was simply at the club that night to support a friend. Three of the shooting victims were taken to a hospital initially, while two victims died at the scene. One of the victims taken to the hospital later died from their injuries. It is unknown which one of the three identified victims was actually taken to the hospital. One of the two injured victims suffered critical injuries, while the other injured victim is in stable condition. One of the victims was found outside the nightclub, and another was found inside. The front of the building was still littered with bullet holes. According to an employee of the club, something happened inside the nightclub and spilled out onto the sidewalk. Next thing you know, bullets began flying everywhere. The employee did not provide details regarding the specifics of how or why the altercation initially occurred. A memorial began to grow outside of the Climax nightclub as yellow roses lined the front of the building along with loved ones' names memorialized in chalk. Those that came to pay their respects left candles and flowers, many of whom could visibly feel the gravity of the tragedy that took place. As Antoinette's family reflects on her senseless murder, they hurt for her three children, who are now left to navigate through life without a mother. All Antoinette wanted to do was support her friend, who was performing at the club that night. And sadly, her life was taken in the process. Just an innocent bystander. Are you serious? His only child, yeah, she got killed Sunday night. Right here? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. A nightclub in the middle of a neighborhood, now lined with yellow roses and loved one's name is memorialized in chalk. Neighbors describe a gun battle in their backyard. The club open, I ain't never been in there though, but you know, it's just sad to hear. I have children over here, and now it's like they scared to walk to the corner store because they don't know. And I, I really hate to, to even the thought of it being in my backyard, though. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of concern. Those who came to pay their respects felt the gravity of three people killed here. May peace be still on earth as it is in heaven. We got to stop the violence. We have to stop this. LaShonda Wiggins' niece, Antoinette Brenson, was among the victims killed. They called her Libby. She was 24 years old. She was a fun, outgoing person. Loved to smell all the time. And taking care of her babies was her thing. Yep, can you pull them pictures up, Tawana, please? A mother to three, her extended family says Libby was bubbly and funny. They say she went to go see her friend perform. She was a loving, caring niece, mother. First and foremost, she loved her children. You knew that was Libby, she was pressing. Her presence, it was warm. It was, yeah. that's my niece, she was warm. It's devastating, you know, it is, 
very hard to continue to hear about the violence, especially when it involves young people. It's the violence Damon Daniel of the ad hoc group against crime works to stop. He says it takes everyone. Speak up, share what you know. Listen, it is not snitching. It is doing what's right. It, what if it happened to you? You would want people to speak up and share what they know. And every piece of information is like pieces to a puzzle. Every piece of information matters. We just have to think about each other more, like, and just be safe out here. Antoinette's family has set up donations at Serenity Funeral Home for her memorial service. As of right now, police have not announced any arrests in the case, nor provided any suspect information. The case remains ongoing.